Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of the channel with you. So I will say I do apologise for having no episodes from the last couple of weeks. Um, I'll talk more about that at the end, but for now we are with you in cinematic captures. So before we get on to anything else, here's the basics. So, Cinematic Captures was created on the 18th of July 2016, of when joining, and then in video views in total is um, eight million, and it's nearly, somewhat nearly up to nine million, and with subscribers, it's 25k. So what does this channel do? Well, cinematic captures like the name should really say is basically making cinematics out of games from like for instance Battlefront 2 and also not just doing cinematics but um, for when the campaign came out for Battlefront 2 a little thing started called Inferno Squad. Um, he also looks at Battlefront mods, makes fan made game trailers, and more. So, if you're wondering how does Cinematic Captures make its captures, well, for Battlefront 2 and including the Battlefront from 2015, there's a software that you can use called Cinematic Tools. And when you insert that and when you do what you need to do, you're able to use that to make whatever you want. And depending how much time you put into it, you can make something okay or something as beautiful as cinematic captures. So, what does the cinematic capture channel get out of 10? Well, with every upload I feel like it's always something beautiful and nice to look at. Battlefront 2 is a beautiful game in like the different maps and also the characters. Cinematic Captures gets a 10 out of 10. But before we go, I will say why there hasn't been any episodes. I've been feeling quite tired for the last couple of weeks and that's my own part and I fully do apologise on it. I've also been working on a Spyro documentary that I'm hoping should be out on Friday. Anyway, here's the next channel we'll be reviewing. Logan Paul, break it fucking down